excited, eating, and then we're heading on the road to San Diego. I'm so excited, never done this before. We're just grabbing gas and then we're on our way. Freaking nowhere. Look at that view. This is the master. Where's the light for the bathroom? Don't know. Oh, here it is. Here we go. This is the bathroom. Not too bad. A little jacuzzi tub. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I thought that we were going to San Diego, but we're in between like Temecula and San Diego and we're, it's in the middle of nowhere. On our way here, we thought maybe we would get kidnapped and something <laughs> on the drive here because it was looking a little bit crazy. Um, but we're at the hotel now and we're gonna go have some food and just like settle in. And then in the morning is otter time. So excited.
to go play with the otters. So he's on the smaller side, but that's all right. He's got a big personality. 
Now, these guys are going to be found in South America, especially like that Amazon River Basin. They're a family of ringtail lemurs. That is way different compared to how many species of lemur exist in this world. There's actually in this world, and they're all native to the island of Madagascar. For that reason and the fact that they're based in Omaha, Nebraska, and they have been planting trees in Madagascar over several years, and they recently announced they planted their five million tree. Five million trees in Madagascar. That's amazing. I know. So these little ones are about two, almost three months old now. <laughs> got double action. Double <laughs> Welcome to Petco. The best jicama is the jicama that the sister is eating. So the slightly larger one is Daphne. The littler one is Velma. I'm cute. <laughs> that uh, strawberry currently weighs right around 80 pounds. I also got weights on these guys. Uh, Daphne is 16 pounds. Velma is 14 pounds and they are averaging a weight gain of between. Did you just steal that whole thing? Yeah, you rude. Oh, we, we got the drool going on now. <laughs> All over. All over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <drool. laughs> so pick them a drool. <laughs> Cover. cover. Yeah, even this one. Yeah, that one I was a little confused. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> you can hear them. <laughs> They're so excited. Oh, yeah? Is that 
editing this video right now and I realize I didn't actually end off the video I didn't explain anything so I kind of just wanted to do like a recap of the video so Erin gave Kaylee the most amazing experience gift ever to go swim with sea otters for her birthday and they invited us which I am so grateful for because it was such an amazing experience so we drove up to Temecula and we thought we were going to San Diego but it was like an hour before San Diego um but it was a beautiful ride there all the mountains beautiful gorgeous there was a few parts once we got into Temecula that we were like this looks like a horror movie like someone's gonna come out with a shotgun and just like poof, poof, <laughs> you know because it was kind of creepy you're driving through there good thing it wasn't at night we were like broad daylight so thank goodness for that but anyways we went to this conservatory this um sanctuary that they keep uh rescues and endangered wildlife as I, you saw there was lemurs capybaras um fennec fox uh, a few others they were adorable but the best part was the sea otters, obviously. Like, they were so cute. They're like little sea dogs. And the best part about the sea otters, opposed to the other wildlife, was the fact that the sea otters actually want to see humans. And so it's not like you just give them a tree and they're like, ooh, yay, food. Not necessarily like, ooh, yay, humans. <laughs> so that's what it is with like, the other animals they're only excited to see you because you have food but the sea otters it's so cute because you're the treat and it's so so special they they were like literally screaming with joy like you could hear them get so excited because they knew they were about to go swimming have fun with humans and that was so special so it was an amazing experience we got to see the babies um I think the babies, they were just learning how to swim um, and interact with humans. So we got to experience that. I think it was like their second swim. And they were on this little blanket and they were so cute. They're like, like a mix between a cat and a dog. Like they're just, their faces, you just want to kiss them. <laughs> like I just wanted to, 
<laughs> but you can't. Um, you have to wear the, these visors so that they don't like scratch your face. Because apparently they're not very good pets, but <laughs> they're like rambunctious and destructive. But I would love one, even though you're not supposed to. But yeah, they're adorable. They're so sweet. And then we got to see like the teenage adult sea otters as well. They were so sweet, so cute. Ugh, that experience was amazing. I'm so happy that we got to experience that. Um, but yeah, so it was an amazing experience. I can't say enough about that. Like, I'm so happy and grateful that Erin and Kaylee invited us for her birthday. And um, that's definitely something that I would want to do again. I actually just recently saw that Gigi Gorgeous. I don't know if you guys know her, but she's like an OG YouTuber. She went there recently and I was like, oh my god, I literally am editing my video right now about that. <laughs> So that was kind of cool. But yeah, um, Ryan and I are heading to LA in the next vlog. Obviously, we're, we already went there, but like in the next vlog that you guys are going to see, we're heading to LA and spending a few days there. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of food, had a lot of fun, and I am so looking forward to going back. I miss the beach and I miss everything about California so much. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Many more to come.